What is going on folks, it is Rigor Mortis, we are back with yet another video and today we are talking about Shiba Inu. What I wanted to do for you guys today is talk about the importance of phase 2 of this ecosystem, of this project, why I have conviction in Shaitoshi slash Ryoshi's vision and where we go from here when it comes to the whole ecosystem and why I am so excited when it comes to this token. We are going to get into all of that in today's video so if you are new around here please go ahead and hit that subscribe button join the family throw a like on this video so we can get it out to more people and leave a comment down below i want to hear all of your guys' thoughts and opinions on all things shiba inu last but not least folks weeble did extend their promotion folks until the end of this month when you open up a weeble brokerage account and deposit five dollars you heard that right just five dollars using my weeble affiliate link in the description below you can get yourself two free stocks valued all the way up to two thousand three hundred dollars not to mention the fact that there are rumblings now of weeble listing shiba inu go ahead and take advantage of this promotion while it still lasts until the end of the month again all you need to do is use my affiliate link down below open up a weeble brokerage account and deposit five dollars for a chance at two free stocks valued all the way up to two thousand three hundred dollars not a chance sorry you are going to get two free stocks now shiba inu folks on the day doesn't look like we have much movement it's just pretty much been sideways if we zoom out ever so slightly to the seven day chart it looks like the same song different dance i've been saying this to you guys for the past couple of months ever since may 24th this thing has pretty much just been flatlining now that is due to a couple of different things we talked about them a lot on previous videos First of all, the circulating supply. We talked about the donations that happened early on in this project. We talked about the potential token burn, lack of exposure, the difference between being a meme token and being a legitimate cryptocurrency. We got into all of that. But what I wanted to do for you guys is tell you that I do believe that this thing is going to go back to these all-time highs that we saw back in May. It is only just a matter of time if things work out the way that we think they are. So let's go ahead and talk about phase two. First and foremost, we have to talk about the NFTs that are going to come out when it comes to the ecosystem. We saw them. They're kind of like CryptoPunk-esque NFTs that have to do with Shiba Inu. There's a lot of them, 10,000 of them to be exact. And so this is going to be a very big deal when it comes to the ecosystem. I believe it's 10,000. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. But that said, where is the token burn going to come in when it comes to this ecosystem? Because if you see what Shaitoshi has been hinting at recently, he's been hinting at the fact that we might have a token burn. Not might, most probably will, but it'll come in the form of the NFT projects rather than a straight up burn on every single transaction whenever you swap or buy Shiba Inu. This is genius in my opinion. If you haven't seen already, Ship Planet had a video outlining this perfectly where he goes through and he calculates everything if you haven't already go check out his channel because he does things perfectly he has a video outlining all the details of course you're here on my channel because i give you guys the broader overview so what is going to happen essentially when these nfts come out if you are owning one of these nfts and you want to change something when it comes to those nfts it'll require a transaction it'll require fees for that transaction and what is going to happen is those transactions, those fees that are associated with Shiba Inu, either all of them or some of them, those tokens are actually going to get burned. You heard that right, folks. Shiba Inu, once these NFT projects in the incubator come out, once these transactions, transactions start happening in that NFT project, those tokens are going to get burned. This is exactly what we've been waiting for when it comes to this token. We've seen it run flat. Of course, I told you guys this is for a variety of different reasons. We thought that the swap was going to give us a quote-unquote artificial burn. It just didn't work out the way that we envisioned. And now we are at this point where a token burn, a straight-up legitimate token burn can happen, but in a way that Shaitoshi just kind of finessed it in there. And it's really cool to see the way he's doing it with these nfts so i'm excited for that a token burn is big next up the topic of a stable coin we talked a lot about this before and how shiba inu could potentially be a stable coin people were saying hey you know pretty much a stable coin right now we haven't been moving very much and i agree with you but we are going to have a legitimate stable coin folks shaitoshi again hinting about this on the discord he told us that 
SHI or SHI is going to be that stable token. It is going to be a part of the ecosystem and it is exactly what we need in order to really verify or legitimize these uh, this ecosystem as a whole we do need a stable token so that whenever you feel like taking some profits off the top instead of straight up exchanging them for USD or USDT or USDC or any other token for that matter you can trade it for a stable token still within the ecosystem that you could potentially end up staking or gaining APY or APR on still the, uh, that's in the works I believe and so we will get more information about that in the future. Next up, when it comes to the ecosystem, we have Shiba Inu, right? But they are in talks and they are going to be implementing a switch to our own blockchain. You guys know that Shiba Inu is an ERC20 token. You see it here, it's on the Ethereum blockchain. But what Shaitoshi wants to do is transform this token into a blockchain of its own so that we are not pegged to Ethereum having to pay fees and things of that nature in Ethereum, it could help us quite a bit having our own blockchain. Obviously, things are still in the works when it comes to that, but this is all things that are happening in Phase 2, folks. And Shaitoshi hinted about all of these things, not only on the Discord, but on Twitter as well. And so it is really good to see that things are progressing in the right direction when it comes to Shiba Inu. Another thing I really want to quickly talk about that doesn't necessarily have to do with Phase 2, but this post that I saw on Reddit, we have another listing for SHIB. This is a exchange that I think actually gains quite a little bit of traction. So it's very nice to see that we are list getting still getting listed on these exchanges. Keep in mind, folks, that we don't ask to be listed on these exchanges. Of course, the community does what they do whenever they ask things, like whenever they tweet at Coinbase or Robinhood or eToro, things of that nature. But these exchanges, at the end of the day, they're not paid to list Shiba Inu. They just happen because they know how much traction listing Shiba Inu could potentially have on their exchange. So nice to see TXBit.io, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, listing Shiba Inu. Very, very cool to see. This is obviously, you know, we, we're taking steps in the right direction when it comes to this token. So that is why I am so excited, folks. I know I didn't show you guys too many infographics or anything like that in this video, and you've just pretty much been staring at this screen, this price action screen, and listening to my voice. But we really needed to outline some of these things for this video so that we have a kind of like a roadmap as to where we are going in the future. What are we going to do and why should we have excitement in this token? and why I think it is still incredibly early when it comes to this token. Folks, we are transitioning from meme token territory to an ecosystem. We already made the transition. Now it's just a matter of time before we get more folks on board in that vision, in that mission that is the ecosystem of Shiba Inu. Now, of course, this wouldn't be a rigor mortis video without looking at the broader cryptocurrency market. So let's go ahead and take a peek here. Bitcoin down below 40K, down below 30 eight sorry right around 38k below 39k now ethereum still doing its thing at 2.5k we are expecting the hard fork any time now maybe already went live by the time this video is posted because i have really bad internet and so we see a couple of these tokens running a little bit flat bnb running a little flat ada doing well on the day nice to see dogecoin of course the one that is compared the most to shiba inu is down on the day and on the seven day chart interesting to see there so the coin it's wishy-washy right now it's back there's not any clear-cut you know good market sentiment or poor market sentiment we are down in the broader cryptocurrency market as a whole but there are some coins that are doing well some coins that are doing not so well and some coins that are just pretty much riding flat but I told you guys every single time let's zoom out all the way especially when it comes to SHIB since May 24th to be quite honest we haven't seen a lot of price action and that is because okay I'll admit it's because we are comparing it to these all-time highs because on the you know on the weekly you know volatility so to speak there is quite a bit of trend, um, volatility here on the week to week because we are comparing them to all-time highs it kind of seems like it is running a little flat but as we get past these all-time highs the three month chart might actually start looking a little bit more wonky so we will see we are just patiently waiting so that we can get past this point and then the graph will start looking a little bit more like that where you can really see that it has been fluctuating quite a bit whenever you get past some of those all-time highs but still 
we are green and you can see here, sorry we we are still flat if you if you can see here you can pretty much draw a flat line right through this thing and that would probably be pretty close to the best fit for this so again we're still riding primarily flat with some intraday intra week volatility there but i suspect that things are going to be doing very well when it comes to this token in the future Folks, that's all I have for you guys in today's video. Obviously, this video is for entertainment educational purposes only. I'm by no means a financial advisor. I'm just here to put you guys on plays that I'm in. I really appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end. You know what the deal is. That Webull link is in the description below. Use my Webull affiliate link. Deposit just $5. Get yourself two free stocks valued all the way up to $2,300. The minimum you are going to get for those two stocks is around $11, and it really helps out the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been your boy, Rigor Mortis. I'm at the scene, folks. Peace.